Damn, yeah. that manifold looks crazy. That thing is close to the oil pan. Really? Yeah, it's like super close. That's so sick. I'm not used to like a manifold looking like that. Turbo is going in. The Greddy Turbo Kit, this kit was actually one of the kits I was looking at. So I was debating on if I was going to go supercharger or turbo. And obviously I went supercharger because I got the Vortec. But I was talking to this guy with the Greddy Turbo Kit. So once I pulled the trigger on that supercharger, Kai actually wanted to boost his car. So I was like, you know what? Hit up this guy if you really want to boost your car. And um, he has the kit now. So we both are about to be boosted. Yeah. This is pretty much day one of boosting another 86. <laughs> this is gonna be so sick. I'm really excited to see what it's actually like with a turbo kit. I've only been in a few turboed FRSs, um, but I'm really, really excited to, I don't know, I'm just so used to like the supercharged feeling, so we'll see if this makes me regret not getting a turbo kit. Honestly, I feel like once I fill your car, mm -hmm. I'm gonna regret it. <laughs> no, I didn't want that. We're literally gonna be running the same exact tune from Delicious as well. So you're gonna have the nice pops and bangs and everything. Damn. You got it? There you go. First problem. Of course there's gonna be problems, you know? Dude, what the f this thing is way too big and it's hitting up against the fan and also the frame support right here. Supposed to mount right there. But that is hitting up against the frame support slash fans. What? Why is your car such a pain? I don't know. We literally ran into two problems in like five minutes. <laughs> gosh, oh dude. my gosh, dude. So first one, he needs smaller fans so we can't put the turbo on. Now, what's going on? This bolt won't back out. We literally can't even pull the ECU bracket off to do the injectors. Not backing out. It's literally cross-threaded. It's so annoying. <laughs> We're trying to get some progress done because we can't fit the turbo on until he gets some like aftermarket fans. So we move on to that and then we can't take the ECU off found that the ECU is on a little bracket. So we're gonna try to take off, there's like two bolts that are like like that. <laughs> hey, imagine this one cross the threads too. <laughs> Dude, seriously, everything on this engine cross the threads. So Dude, crazy. it's the dealer probably when they freaking recalled your motor. All you people wanting to get an FRS, don't buy the 2013s. I tell you guys all the time. Oh, you got so lucky, dude. Wow, I literally thought we were screwed. How the f all dude. those shavings? Fuel rail is off. While doing this, I actually went ahead and removed the OEM fuel injector O-rings out of the motor. If you guys remember on the supercharger install, this was the reason why my car pretty much like failed on me on the test drive. I left some of these in and some of them were not in there, which caused a whole fuel leak and it pretty much broke down on the side of the road. So if you guys are doing fuel injectors, double check that the O-rings are out because you really can't even tell if you're just looking at it. Just take some pliers. If it's squishy, take it out. <laughs> Super simple, he just put some toe arms for his fuel rails. <laughs> it literally looks like a toe arm to just camber and toe. We actually have the final pieces for the whole supercharger setup on order right now. I just placed an order for a Mishimoto oil cooler and also dual catch cans for the FRS. So I actually already have a catch can right there. I also need another one for right here. So 
I just went ahead and ordered two uh, just to match. So they're both from Radium. So those are huge. Like those are like two things that I've held off for so long, which is so bad because this setup is in desperate need of like a cooling system. And just the stock one is just not enough because this car like overheats like crazy. It gets to like 230, 240, like super quick, like even just driving on the highway. So a cooling system is definitely needed. So I'm super glad that we have that on order. The only thing is, is the Mishimoto oil cooler is out of stock for like three weeks or so. Um, and also the radium ones don't ship out in like a week or two. So we just gotta wait a little bit of time for those to come out, but I'm pretty confident they'll come before dino days. Yeah guys, we actually have a dino day coming up for the FRS um, at Delicious Tuning on November 2nd. So I'm super excited on that. We finally locked down a day to throw this thing on the dyno at Delicious Tuning to see how much power this thing actually makes. I don't know, I've always wanted to see this car on the dyno ever since choosing to boost the car. It's just one of those things that I've always seen and I've always wanted to do myself. November 2nd, this thing is finally gonna get on the dyno and I'm honestly so excited to make a video about that because it's just so sick. We finally get to see how much horsepower this thing actually can run and um, it'll just make such a sick video. So November 2nd, honestly cannot wait for that. It's been just like so much frustration and like a whole bunch of headaches to get the car to this point, you know, with the whole supercharger kit and pretty much me like learning every single thing because this is all completely new to me. So all these like terms and I don't know, like this, this whole thing was new to me. So a lot of headaches, a lot of frustration, but it's really, really satisfying to see it all coming together. And like, and I'm still learning to this day. There's still some things that are not going, you know, completely smoothly with the car right now. Like the idle is like off. It's idling really high right now, which I'm not too sure why. I just can't seem to find any vacuum leaks, but I don't know. I'm assuming it's the air control valve in the throttle body or a tuning issue. So I don't know. We're just figuring, we're just trying to figure that out as days go by. But yeah, it's been a process, a process that he's going through right now. So how many headaches have we gone through in the span of 24 hours? Six. Six. <laughs> Six headaches and we barely started. so hot. That was not bad, honestly. These all literally just popped off with like a flathead. Like besides the two screws for the, um, what is this called? sun visor <laughs> um, and that's pretty much it for the front I think I just have to move on to these side pillars which I haven't touched yet we're removing the headliner I haven't even mentioned it um, if you guys can leave a guess down in the comment section below on what's going down on why I'm removing the headliner uh, leave them down below I want to see your guys guesses what do you guys think I'm doing with the headliner so I'm assuming I'm just gonna pull Pulling on something. This is making me scared. Got an airbag sign. It's right there. <laughs> yeah. All right, so as you can see, we got the whole thing loose now. I think they're saying there's a harness. I think it's just this wire, it like routes all the way around. Go ahead, uh, pull it. Uh, my side or? Yeah. So freaking dirty. <laughs> Here is the whole FRS headliner. I was trying not to like bend it when taking it out because this thing seems to like bend really easily and like show creases, but um, I think we're good. A few moments later. Do you mind if I film? Oh yeah, you can like barely see those things too. That's it. You have to like glue it, huh? Yeah, bro. Each strand. All right, start each little strand. Flipping it over. That's sick. 
so many strands. <laughs> Damn. That's awesome though. I'm super excited. We got Filipino food on deck. Damn. You guys know? Then you know. For all my Filipino supporters out there, you guys know. 